Hi EGC members, Dane here and welcome to episode one of Lessons with Lauren. This series is going to include some instructional tips and also some fun games that you can play at home with your kid on your at home tennis court. Today's focus is going to be the forehand and the backhand ground stroke. So I realize most kids playing at EGC are at the beginner intermediate type level. So we're gonna keep this very simple and we're gonna keep it to three main points on the ground stroke that should result in a kid being able to hit the ball over the net consistently, okay? Number one, obviously they always wanna be in ready position, okay? I stay on the kids about that all the time, all right? Then once that ball is hit to them, Number one is turning sideways and preparing your racket, okay? That's number one. That's the forehand side and the backhand side, okay? Number two is making contact out in front, okay? Right on your left hip, okay, on the forehand side and right on your right hip on the backhand side, okay? Um, number three is following through towards your target after that point of contact, okay? So you turn sideways, racket ready, contact, and continuing through contact towards where that target is, okay? That's the forehand and the backhand, okay? Now, some of you are thinking, well, my tennis pro and you, Dane, have even told me, well, finish over your shoulder, okay? We'll call that number four, but remember, we're talking about the kids here and we're just trying to get them to get it over the net. So yes, you could finish over here, but at the same time, after contact, my racket is still going towards that target. That's the most important thing, okay? Hi, and we're back with my daughter, Lauren, who's the one getting the lesson today. Hi, Lauren, and welcome. Welcome. How old are you? Eight. And how long have you been playing tennis? Two years. Two years? Camera's over there. Um, and why do you like playing tennis? Because I like playing with my friends and I like to run around. Okay, all right, those are two very good reasons. Um, all right, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna feed Lauren some forehands and backhands. Lauren, rack it up. We're very strict about that. Hug the racket for safety reasons. Um, we're gonna have her hit some forehands and some backhands, all right? And we'll critique her and see if we can, she can put together number one, two, and three. All right, Lauren, run over there and then we'll hit some ground strokes. All right, so we're gonna start with some forehand ground strokes and I'll con critique as we go, hopefully not too much. All right, we ready, Lauren? Yeah. Got her in ready position, that's good. That's always where you wanna start. Here we go, ready? Sideways, racket back, contact in front, and she almost hit me, I'm probably her target. All right, ready? Here we go. All three right there, really good, ready? Good now. Maybe a little late on that, and if you notice, the ball came this way. Ready? One more, Lauren. Good, that was a good one. So if you notice, if she puts number one, that turning sideways, getting the racket back, and number two, that contact point right out in front, and number three, swinging towards that target, if you put those things, all three of those together, you're gonna get a pretty good, solid ground stroke, all right? Let's try some backhands. All right, we're moving on to backhands. The reason why I have Lauren put over in the deuce court more is we've got some bad bounces here on the backhand side of our driveway. All right, so I'm gonna be feeding to her from here. All right, you ready, Lauren? Yeah. All right, backhand. Okay, that was pretty good. I like to see you get your racket back a little bit earlier. Wait for the ball, don't run forward. Wait for it. That was it, all one, two, and three were there. I hope everybody saw that. All right, ready, again. One, two, three, good. All right, so those were good backhands. Those last two in particular, if you notice, she got sideways, got her racket ready, contact in front, and finished through towards the target, okay? Um, so that's what you want on the forehand and backhand ground strokes. Okay, thanks for joining us for episode one of Lessons with Lauren. Hopefully those three little basic tips will help the kids on the driveway be able to start hitting the ball back and forth with you 
consistently. And I hope that all of you have fun playing tennis at home with your families. Thanks for helping us out today, Lauren. You're welcome. Are you going to help us again? Yeah. Okay. Well, that means we will be back with episode two soon.